Welcome to Money Matters. I'm Jackie Highland in New York. Well, today we are speaking with a young man who defines the term self-made millionaire. Gurbash Shahal started his first online advertising company from his house when he was just 16. He left school to focus on it full time and he sold it two years later for $40 million. Then a few years later, he sold another company to Yahoo for $300 million. His memoir, The Dream, tells his entire story from his family's emigration from India to San Jose when he was just a kid. We're happy to have G. Shahal with us today. G, thanks so much for joining us today. I know your friends call you G. Well, thank you for having me. No problem. Your success story is absolutely amazing. You are a self-made multi-millionaire. You're only 26 years old. First of all, how does it feel? Well, you know, it feels great to kind of see the end of the journey, the result that came with it. But, uh, you know, it was a complete uh, journey for me where it was like defying the odds because business is kind of like one of those uh, stereotypes that you don't really succeed in as a 16 year old it's it's a more mature environment so there's a lot of uh, uh, you know issues I had to deal with and I'm glad that I was able to overcome a lot of those obstacles well your success as you just mentioned began at the age of 16 when you started your first online advertising company called click agents how did you come up with the idea and how did you get it all started well, you know, one of my main business philosophies is that you don't really have to do anything that actually uh, is something that completely different or completely new. Mm -hmm. So when I actually got involved, I actually, uh, you know, the internet was three years old. Uh, I, you know, I looked at the advertising market. Double click just went public. You know, I went public at 300 million, went up to 15 billion, and uh, internet advertising was beginning to be the new thing. So I looked at that landscape, see what uh, what I needed, and just quickly kind of learned with it. The good thing was, since it was only three years old, uh, you know, it wasn't something that there was a whole lot to, you know, think about. People were still innovating in it. Right. So you think it was a good timing on your part? I think timing, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, it was perseverance and you know, execution, and that really separates the. You know the businesses that succeed and the businesses that fail. Right now, you went on to sell Click Agents for forty million dollars just after two years. Some people would be happy enough with that much success, but then you started another company, Blue Lithium, which is an online marketing company. Where did you get the idea for this company, and how did you get that one up and started? Well, when I sold my first company, I had a three-year non-compete, and uh, after uh, you know that ended a month later, I started Blue Lithium. So Blue Lithium was basically the uh, bigger, meaner version of uh, my first company, and uh, you know I was able to use a lot of the, the skill set that I was able to uh, grow, and uh, uh, you know with Click Agents into Blue Lithium. I mean, my first company grew to about 34 employees, and it was a w you know one office, and Blue Lithium eventually became nine offices with a little over 200 employees worldwide. Now you had some help along the way. I understand your dad helped you out a lot. Uh, you know, n not uh, in any of the businesses, but uh, the way I got intrigued inside the whole, uh, you know, business landscape was, you know, he was uh, big into the stock market. And, uh, you know, so I got my, you know, ideas of what business was why, by watching CNBC as a teenager with him. Uh-huh. So that's the trick, huh? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Uh, well, Blue Lithium was also named one of the top 100 private companies in America three years in a row. So what do you think makes you so successful and your company so successful? I think it just comes down to surrounding yourself around the right people uh, that want to see you successful and have the interests aligned as well as you know, figuring out what your true passion was. And I'm, I'm fortunate that at a very early age in my life I was able to find out what I wanted to do and I was able to hold on to that and then quickly grow my team around it to, uh, to grow with me.